Cozy Creatures by Molly Murphy from Fairfax Public School. G'day everyone, my name is Bunny Bill, but please call me Bill for short. I bet you're admiring my long, white, fluffy, warm coat. Sadly, it won't be here for much longer because amazingly, Angora rabbits on this farm are shorn every three months, explained Bunny Bill as he glanced towards the house. Bunny Bill noticed farmer Bob McMillan walking down towards the rabbit shed. He was wearing a red checkered shirt and blue jeans, which appeared baggy against his short stubby legs. The worried younger rabbits clustered around whispering to one another. Is that Farmer Bob? What is he doing? Where is he going? Don't worry, don't worry. He's just setting up for a good hard day of work tomorrow, reassured Bill. As the day came to a close, the sky was a magnificent display of purples, pinks and oranges. The rabbits burrowed down into the warm straw in their shed, awaiting the long day ahead. After enjoying a hearty breakfast, Farmer Bob and his wife Mrs McMillan strolled down to the shed. They enthusiastically began to prepare the equipment for shearing. Bunny Bill and his fellow rabbits darted from side to side, watching Farmer Bob and his wife's every move. Mrs. McMillan quietly grabbed a rabbit and secured it to the shearing table by gently tying down the rabbit's arms and the legs. Then Farmer Bob began to shear. No, I'm losing my fur again. I hope I don't lose an ear, screeched the rabbit. That's why Mrs. McMillan used her scissors to trim carefully and delicately around the rabbit's ears and tail. See, it's not too bad. Farmer Bob and Mrs. McMillan have whizzed through us and now they only have two left to shear, explained Bunny Bill. I'm glad I have already had my hair cut, boasted a rabbit. Early the next morning, with the truck loaded, Farmer Bob and Mrs. McMillan drove into town with their super soft rabbit fur. They dropped the fur off to the town's highly regarded craft shop and then they drove back home. Late that night, the rabbits huddled together and discussed what they thought their wonderful fur would be made into. I hope mine will be made into a beautiful felt hat. Maybe mine will make wonderful warm lining for winter gloves. Mine might be made into comfortable blankets that keep you warm at night. Every three months, Farmer Bob and Mrs. McMillan always look forward to making a new purchase from the craft shop that is made of their rabbit fur with a bit of merino wool mixed in. A few days later, as the sun was setting over the mountain peak, the rabbits discussed how thankful they were for their haircut. It felt great because they were now able to grow a new fresh coat of soft angora fur. <laughs>